off and did my intro and my outro, um, I decided to try eyeliner again and um, this side came out really well. This side not so confident about. Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial of this. So basically I came up with this, let's have my past self before I put this eyeliner on tell you. I was inspired by negative and positive space. I wanted to do a heart on the chest but I didn't want to just like outline a heart, color it in and call it a day. I wanted a little bit more, you know, unique. Okay, we're back. Okay. Meaning because I put the eyeliner on last after, you know, I thought I was done with the video and then I tried doing eyeliner. It turned out good. So yeah. So this video is a collaboration slash shout out with Lisa Loves Cherries and I'll leave her links like everywhere that you could possibly look. If you're looking for a more tame look and not as like out there like saying hey it's Valentine's Day look at this red look at this heart then go over to her channel she's doing a nice look for a Valentine's Day dinner so go and check it out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I try my best to uh, give descriptions of what kind of eyeshadow and everything that I'm using because some of these things are kind of old. Not saying they were like since middle school old, but like I don't think they have this Dare to Dream beauty book anymore, the Ariel one. So just for when I'm pointing out those, just get some nice corally colors and a red from another palette. Unless the e.l.f. still has this palette. I need a new one. This one's broken. <laughs> First, we're going to start off with the Pure Correcting Primer. It reduces redness, so I like to put it all over my troubled areas first, which means by my mouth, on my cheeks, on my nose, some of it on my forehead, and then I start to just put it everywhere else to make sure that it's nice and blended out and ready for our foundation. For our foundation today, we are going to use the Maybelline New York Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in 110 Porcelain in a Damp beauty blender and we're just going to beat our face out. I have no rhyme or rhythm of how I do this. I just try to get a nice even coat all over my face and even put a little bit on my eyelids just to have a foundation for our eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline concealer in the lightest color in a damp beauty sponge again and using the tip of the beauty sponge on the back of my hand with the concealer and just going into those troubled areas that I was concealing before with the primer and just going over it with this concealer now. You don't have to do this, but I put this into my regular routine because it's kind of just one of my rituals that I do every morning and just take a big fluffy brush, rub it across my face, kind of just to me making it feel like everything is blended out. And then I realized the boob of my necklace was peeking out the entire time and now I have to fix it. Now we are going in with this pressed powder that isn't a pressed powder anymore because I dropped it too many times and it just started to break. It is a pure 4-in-1 pressed powder in the color porcelain and I'm going over my troubled areas again just to make sure they're nice and concealed and to me I'd like to set them with a powder and this is the one that I use. Now we are going in with the e.l.f. eye primer and we're just going to slather it all over our eyeballs because we're going to be putting some bright colors on there and also put some under your eye because we will be putting some color there as well. We're going in with this dense eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. and we're going into the Dare to Dream Beauty book by e.l.f. as well. And we're going to take this light coral color and we're going to put it on the outer corner of our eye and blend it into the crease. And then we are also going to take a fluffy blending brush and we're going to blend that color up into our brow and into our inner corner to make a nice light faded base. I went back in several times just to build up the color and build up the definition and put color where I wanted it to be darker and blend it out where I wanted things to be lighter. Now we are also going to go in and do our other eye. I like to do both eyes at the same time just so I make sure they are even and I do each step together just in case I decide to change something at the last minute. Now we are going into this e.l.f. palette and we're going to take that red color and we're going to put it on the outer corner of our eye. We want to add definition to our eye bringing in that Valentine's look. Of course we are going to blend that color into that coral color that we have as the base so that everything blended and looks beautiful. You can't see this here, but I am taking that same red color and smudging it into my lower lash line, but of course I wasn't paying attention, so you can't really see what I'm doing. Now I am curling my eyelashes, and then I suddenly realize I don't think it's blended enough. So I'm going back in with that blending brush and just blending everything out and in. And at this point, my camera decided to stop recording, and I did not record myself putting on my mascara or curling my other eyelash, so I hope you know how to do that. 
Add to the theme of Valentine's, I am using the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in Sweet Tea. It is such a cute packaging, color, and all around really good application. I love this bronzer and I use it basically every day instead of using blush. Speaking of blush, we're going to use the Amazon Clay 12 Hour Blush by Tarte in the color Archot? Archot? Art? I don't know how to say it. So I am putting this little heart on my cheek. I'm using it with a washable glue stick to stick it on. You could also use a sticker, but I decided to cut out a little piece of paper because I wanted to decide what size heart I wanted to put on my cheek. Take that first color, that light coral color, and you're going to blend it out onto your cheek and kind of make sure you don't rub into the heart, you just stroke away from the heart so none of it gets underneath. Then I went into that darker coral in that same beauty book and we're just going to start blending that again as the first color but we're going to not blend it out as much. And then we are going to use a blending brush but as you see the blending brush kind of takes off some of that loose powder that's on top making it kind of light. So you are going to have to go in a few times if you use this certain palette. Then you peel it off and reveal a cute little heart on your cheek. Now we're going to do the same thing, but on our chest. Yes, I am wearing a shirt. Please, nobody comment. I, you can clearly see I am wearing a shirt. But I'm still using that same washable glue so I can peel the heart off in the end. Now we are going to use that same light coral color that we've been using throughout this whole look, and we're going to start blending it out to make a base of this heart cutout. I'm actually using a contour brush because I feel like it picks up more than a blush brush would. And then we're going in with that darker coral as well just to bring definition to that part and just to draw out the lines and make it more dramatic. Now we're going to use that same red eyeshadow we used on our eyes and we're going to have to use an eyeshadow brush because the palette is so small and we don't want to pick up any other colors, so we're just gonna use this small e.l.f. eyeshadow brush too. And I didn't think I had enough color on it, so I wanted to add purple right at the end of it just to give it more definition and give it more color and just to have a little bit more fun. And of course, no look is complete without lining your lips, and I am using a dark red lip liner by NYX in the color Rose. Now I'm going in with the Sia Liquid Lipstick. It's supposed to last all day, and I will say it lasted all day. I went down to eat some dinner and had some messy food, so yes, it's definitely a liquid lipstick to invest in. And also, it is the color Besso, I believe, and it's the number 10. And then, of course, if you mess up, you can always go in with that concealer we used before and just outline your lips to fix any mistakes, but I would suggest blending it out so it's not as bad. watching as I said before go ahead and check go ahead and check out Lisa Loves Cherry's channel and go see her Valentine's look that she did in shout out collaboration with me and go ahead and click that subscribe button down below because I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday or at least I tried this week it was like Wednesday and Friday because that's the day that me and Lisa agreed on it was Friday <laughs> So go ahead and subscribe because you know subscribing will make you feel better. Just go ahead and try it. If you try it and you click it and you're subscribed, you're going to tell me if you feel better after you subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I have a vlog channel that I try to vlog on as much as possible. And if you want to support me here on YouTube, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link right there and you can support me. Minimum one dollar. You can limit it how much you spend a month. And all my social media is there for you to look at. BAM! There is Lisa Loves Cherry's video, so go ahead and click that and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!